Hey everyone, Dead Owl Nerve Guy here. I spoke about a um, half dollar conversion on this Ixshot XS during my tag recap, and since then I'm receiving messages. So here it is half dollar conversion on the Ixshot XL XS Blaster. Welcome to that. The Ixshot XL XS half dollar conversion. First, we're going to open the blaster because I will need to remove the restrictor and I want to do it cleanly. So first, open the blaster and have those cylinder in hand. So let's start modding the thing. So we are in, that wasn't so bad, pretty straightforward, I have to say, uh, this is one of the newer version with the brighter orange and the screw are way better quality than before. Don't know about the shell, it seems pretty much the same. Now, let me just remove these cylinder and get rid of whatever air restrictor we have. Let me remove this gently. This spring might need an upgrade. that o-ring too and that is gonna help us normally we can just open yeah that thing yeah can just pry open the tip of it very gently This is pretty much done for this. Now for those, uh, yeah, I'm gonna remove them from where they are. Hmm. Yeah, I have to say those nickel screws are a lot better than the old uh, screw from Zool. Those here. Now for those two. That was not what I expected, but here it is. I'm just gonna remove the tree prong and open this mouth very, very round with a little tapered file, just so it's an half an inch really really round really tight around it i don't want to botch up the job because that's where the seal is gonna go i'm gonna do that on both cylinder and then it's gonna be pretty much ready for reassembly maybe a slight spring upgrade so both cylinder has been filed now reassembly pretty much the reverse process of what we had when we did them is there a special way nope fine and i should not need that much of uh, barreling material because i noticed that this barrel if you lock the other way it is not that much unsealed and if you take bigger gen 2 worker they don't even move if you 
if you block the other end. So yeah, this barrel is almost sealing. They are pretty good. Now we have two of them that we can reload for the spring. Uh, this was kind of a weird shape. Thick wire, very, very weak. But I found a meteor spring, which is a tad, yeah, it's a tad stronger, but there's one less coil, and it's thinner in wire, so that is going to fit in, and it's the pretty much exact same diameter. So that is going to be okay for this modification. Let me just put everything into place. Okay, all closed up. It's going to be time for a test. I notice my little air restrictor because there is a small spring inside expanding it so it's always sealed to the cylinder. Might be a little weak the stock one. I might have to improve it. Nonetheless, let's try it. I'm going to try it with what? What do I have here? Some adventure force. Quite easy to fill in, okay, nice. Okay, let's try it. A6. Little disappointed since I put another spring. 106.9. That's more what I was expecting. 108.8. 111. 99 again. And the last one. 107. So, okay. This did something pretty cool with this blaster. Might go into my uh, mud range session that I'm gonna make. That's pretty neat. It is working. I might have to upgrade, like I said, this little spring so it's more sealed here and maybe that little uh, foam that's sealed in the middle. But nonetheless, this is a 12 dart, half dart, 100 FPS bl plus blaster. That is pretty neat. Very fun, this little uh, potential they have. I put the Meteor Spring inside and everything is well. Nothing seems like it's forcing. And the blaster is operating quite well. Hmm. That is neat. That's it for this video. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment. Subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to so notify for my latest video. This was Dave for Tag. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.